YouTube and welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber, hey? Good to see you again. If you are new here, please subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications every time I upload. Today's video I'm really excited for because you guys <laughs> were brutal. Um, I'm going to be addressing assumptions that people have about me. You guys did not hold back, like I said, so. This should be interesting. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. You guys have seen me work with Skillshare before. I did a video doing one of their painting courses and it was so much fun. Especially during quarantine, things like Skillshare and being able to do courses online have been such a lifesaver for my inability to sit still and do nothing. <laughs> one of my favorite courses that I'm doing right now is Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last. And what's really cool is the course is actually done by a YouTuber, Thomas Frank. I really like this kind of course because it's all about how to reach your goals, how to stay focused, how to stay determined. And in a time like this where it's really easy to feel defeated and stuck, it's nice to have someone walk you through and kind of pump you up and motivate you. Which is why I really like Skillshare. They offer memberships with meaning. You can connect with other creative people and create a community and talk about things that you all are interested in. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month, $10. And now to the assumptions that I'm kind of dreading, but also kind of excited for. All right, so I asked you guys off of my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, check it out, go follow me. Sometimes I post mildly interesting things. Oh, one more thing, I'm sorry. I'm, and then we get into the assumptions, I promise. If you guys haven't listened to my newest single, Get Out Alive, it has officially dropped. The music video is out. I will put a snippet right now. It's my favorite song of mine so far, so I know there's only two, but it's my favorite song of mine so far. So go give it a stream, go save it to your playlists, all that fun stuff, I would appreciate it. Assumption number one, you were popular in high school. Yes and no. I was bullied a lot in high school. I actually just made a TikTok about this that I thought was hilarious. I'll put it right here. What's the meanest thing someone did to you in high school? And do you forgive them? This girl named Jen put a photo of me on her MySpace and called me it and got everyone in high school to call me it. They referred to me as it. Um, and then at a football game, her friend Katie came up to me pretending like she wanted to apologize to me. Um, and then as she was like, I just want to let you know that like, I feel so bad. She pushed me over and table topped me. If you don't know what that is, she pushed me to the ground. Somebody got behind me as she was talking to me and kneeled down so that she pushed me and I fell back over them. Um, what else? Oh, do I forgive them? Um, I'm traumatized, but no. <laughs> It, it honestly depended on the day. Like sometimes the popular girls would take me in and accept me and then sometimes I was the worst thing on this planet. <laughs> I don't miss high school at all, I'll tell you that. You used to ditch school to hang out with friends to drink and smoke. I actually never ditched school to, for drinking or smoking. The only reason I would ditch school is to sleep in, honestly. I got so close to being expelled because of how many times I missed my first period class because your girl likes her sleep. You can't go a day without smoking. That that is so far from true. And it's so crazy because everybody thinks that I'm just constantly high and it's quite the opposite. I smoke maybe every other couple of days. Before bed is usually when I smoke. I don't like smoking during the day because it makes me feel unproductive and kind of like, I just want to sit around and eat snacks all day. <laughs> so I, I really don't smoke as much as people think I do. And I just, I just think that's so weird that people think I'm constantly high. I mean, I guess I do upload a lot of high videos, but that's like an hour of my life, you know? Anyway, Anyway, you're usually the one who breaks up the relationship. It's it's a 50-50 to be honest. I've been in relationships that had mutual endings. Like it was like, we're both just not feeling this. I've been broken up with, I've broken up with the person. We like variety, you know, keep it interesting. They all hurt though, I'll tell you that. You aren't as paranoid and cautious about the pandemic as you were six months ago. That's actually so far from true. I feel like if anything, I'm most paranoid now. I am a hypochondriac, so I constantly think I'm sick. I constantly think I'm dying. I constantly think there's something wrong with me. And so this has been <laughs> constant stress, constant anxiety. And the fact that it's gone on for so long, I feel like has only amped up my anxiety. I don't see people, I don't go out. I'm kind of losing my mind. <laughs> you actually want to date me, but you're too shy to ask me out. Andrea, let's go out, please. <laughs> 
You got me. You're a psychopath. Yes, no, I can confirm that one. <laughs> no, I am so not. And I know that only because there was a time in my life where I was like, how would I know if I was a psychopath? Am I a psychopath? Am I crazy? Am I gonna go crazy? And a friend of mine said to me, crazy people don't worry about going crazy. And I was like, shit. You actually had a good 2020 despite everything with the pandemic. You know what? I was thinking about this this morning when I woke up at two in the morning and then stayed up until this very moment. I'm fine. I can honestly say that this was the hardest year of my life mentally. It really pushed me to a point where I did not think I would come back from. But having come back from that, it's given me such a new perspective on life and a new understanding of life and on people. I feel thankful in a weird way. I feel like that's all we can do is take shitty things like the year 2020 and hopefully just learn from them, if nothing else. You never liked Elton. <laughs> I love Elton. I, I genuinely love Elton. I think he is so creative and empathetic and I genuinely think he's a good person. I think he looks out for the people around him and he's a good friend. Don't tell him I said that though. Elton, if you're watching this, fuck you. <laughs> you secretly have a boyfriend. <laughs> no. No. You're gonna leave LA in 2021. This one was crazy because over the last week, and I haven't said this anywhere online or anywhere publicly, I've only told like three people, I've been really seriously considering moving to Nashville um, once my lease is up this year, this next year, just because I've always wanted to be able to say that I've moved around and experienced different cities and not just been stuck in one place my whole life. And I've just been here for like six, seven years now at this point. And to be completely honest with you, I don't feel like I fit LA. It's not really my my vibe. It's not really like, I'm not interested in the things people my age here are interested in for the most part. Of course, I have amazing friends here and there's a lot of great people here, but for the most part, it's just not the wavelength that I'm on. And so I think Nashville would be an incredible place to live in for maybe two, three years. The music scene in Nashville is so fucking dope. It's just something I'm considering. I have looked at houses on Zillow, yes. So we'll see. We have one life. You don't wanna do YouTube anymore. Yes and no. I think what's unique about my situation on YouTube is I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years now. And so it's so easy for people to compare my old stuff to what I'm doing now, which fine, but no one is the same as they were 10 years ago. I would hope not. It's only human to grow and evolve and change. Sometimes I feel like everyone wants me to go back to who I was and that's just not possible for me like it's I don't want to go back to that I'm so thankful for the growth and change I've made in my life and it can sometimes be disheartening or discouraging when people are like we miss the old stuff because it's like girl I do not miss the old me <laughs> she go you and Kian are <laughs> you and Kian are good friends but keep it offline because Key Andrea stands uh, no. And I don't mean this in a negative way. We just don't, we're just not friends. There's no hatred. There's no bad blood. There's no bad energy. We just don't communicate. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, it'll never die. I use my verification check as an advantage of sliding into people's DMs. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. And you would too. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I, I, I take full advantage of that. I have no shame in saying that. And it works. <laughs> You still talk to all of your exes. No, no. I'm just not one of those people that can be friends with their exes. Like, good for you if you have that ability, but girl, I can't. I can't do it. I can't like, I can't do it. You're gonna film this, then tell us, never mind, I deleted the whole video, I didn't like it. <laughs> I have done that many times with this exact video idea. But not this time. Look at us, look at us. I assume you've hooked up with Brie. <laughs> oh, I, I have not hooked up with Brie. Brie's like my best fucking friend. I don't know what I, I literally don't think I'd be alive without Brie. But so yeah, that's that's just my bestie. You're 5'4". I'm fun size. I'm a brisk 5'2". Give me time, I'll grow. I'll grow. Sometimes I'm five, two and a half, depends on my shoes. Like today I feel like I'm probably five, two and a half. Wow, we've learned so much. We've grown so much. I did want to tell you guys that I saw your comments on the last video, I saw your tweets. I am gonna tie dye that sweater. I'm so excited. I have to figure out how to do it correctly because like I said, my last two tie dyes, we're not good. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my music. If you haven't heard Darkest Hour or Get Out Alive yet, Go stream and watch the music videos. There's one for each song. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon.